everyone, Mike Wolf here coming to you from Jerusalem today. And uh, many of you saw my video the other day where I was in Petra in Jordan, which was phenomenal. And Jerusalem is also really amazing. I'm actually uh, near the, the Western Wall and there's an archaeological site here. I'll just give you a little view around what I'm looking at right now. It's pretty darn cool. A uh, beautiful view of uh, the city. And over there we've got like tombstones that go all the way up the uh, all the way up the hill it's, it's uh, incredible how many uh, tombstones there are and it really brings up uh, an important uh, topic for me anyway I think it's important and that's what are you going to leave behind what why are we why are we here on this planet and to me I don't want to just be a tombstone after I'm gone and you know it's kind of funny after whenever I release a video like this I always get uh, a lot of feedback from people saying uh, you know, oh, that's on my bucket list. I really want to go there. It's on my bucket list. And the biggest problem we have with bucket lists is, you know, I have a, um, I had a friend of mine uh, a year ago. He was, he went to high school with me and he died of a heart attack. Same age as me. I'm 51. So he, he would have been 50 and he died of a heart attack. So you don't know when your time is up. You don't get necessarily, you're not going to get a warning where it's like, oh, well, I know I only have a certain amount of time, so I better go do all the things on my bucket list. So I'm wondering how many of these people that are buried there went, you know, went to the grave without fulfilling all the things they wanted to do. So I think it's so important that, you know, instead of saying I can't, and I used to do this all the time, I'd say, well, I can't go because I don't have the time, or I can't do this because I don't have the money. I replaced I can't with how can I? So I turned into a question, how can I go to Jerusalem? How can I, you know, how can I do all these things that I want to do? How can I make them happen? And there's always ways. So, you know, there's always ways to make more money. Uh, there's ways to free up, your, to buy your time back, to get it back. And more importantly, you know, one of the things I always ask myself is how can I create more happiness and joy? I made that my currency. I don't measure my success by how much money is in the bank. I don't even measure, you know, a lot of people say that uh, success, you know, when you have, when you have, all your, when you have lots of time, that's a sign of success. And I disagree with that too, because there was a time in my life where I had a car accident. I had eight months where I was thoroughly depressed. I didn't do anything. I had tons and tons of spare time and having too much time and nothing to do with it, nothing that fulfills you, that's not good either. So I want to talk about a couple of, uh, you know, I get a lot of people asking, well, how can, how can I work with you, Mike? I want to learn how to do some of the stuff that, uh, that you've done. How do I do it? And I, you know, I very rarely work with people one-on-one -on -one anymore. Uh, it's very, very expensive to work with me because my time and my happiness is just, and, and I am happy when I get to teach other people, but I'd much rather uh, teach in groups. And it's a better, better use of my uh, time it allows me to teach many at the same time. So I'm going to be involved in a couple of really cool projects coming up. So if you think it's time to step up and, and maybe uh, do some traveling, I've got uh, end of March, beginning of April, I'm going to be uh, one of the le uh, leaders on a trip to New Zealand where we're going to be, I'm going to be teaching, you know, how do you get, how do you create a lifestyle of freedom for yourself? How do you, uh, how do you get this freedom? How do you get happiness? How do you get the joy back in your life that maybe you lost, maybe you don't feel fulfilled anymore? How do you get this back? And I've, I've got a whole bunch of other leaders. Uh, I think there's another five uh, leaders talking about their different uh, topics, including spirituality, health. So that's gonna be really cool. Unfortunately, there's only one spot left. So if, if we might be able to take a couple if you share the same room, but uh, that's all the space that's left on that. And uh, I'm going to be speaking in front of, they said somewhere between three and 5,000 people, which is going to be really kind of scary, but fun because I've never done that. Um, so that's number one. Number two is I'm, uh, I have a retreat going on. At, we got a villa in Barcelona and it's going to be myself. I've got a couple of guest speakers, including some gold medal winning Olympic athletes that are going to be there sharing, you know, wh what do you need to do to, uh, I mean, to get a gold medal, you got to be dedicated. So we're they're going to be talking about mindset, and I'm going to be teaching once again my philosophies on creating, uh, you know, the freedom lifestyle, creating happiness, creating joy in your life, and just changing how you view the world. So I'm looking for people that are open to, uh, you know, stepping up to the plate, stepping out of the the, the box, and uh, that that holds only nine. I think we have nine 
people that it, the uh, villa can hold. So I don't want, I'm not looking to bring, uh, uh, it's not going to be a huge event. It's going to be a very small, intimate event. We're going to, of course, learn. We're going to have lots of fun. And uh, it's going to be a phenomenal time. So if either of these interest you, either private message me on Facebook or uh, email me at mike at mikewolfmastery.com. So I'd love to have you there. I'd like to teach you how to, uh, you know, leave a legacy as opposed to just being, you know, a tombstone, uh, which is very morbid and sad, but, but true. And so uh, I hope to have you all there. I'm going to go check out some more of Jerusalem. I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Take care.